Hello everyone, today we are going to see the topic Why Go For Conversion, a prose written by B. R. Ambedkar. Bhimrao Ramji Ambedkar was an Indian jurist, economist and a social reformer who fought economic and social discrimination against the untouchables in India's Hindu society and who later renounced Hinduism and inspired the Dalit Buddhist movement. Second Rate Status Dr. Ambedkar had considered converting to Sikkim. He rejected the idea after meeting with leaders of the Sikh community and concluding that his conversion might result in him having as a second-rate status among Sikh community. Main Arguments of Ambedkar Against Hinduism Ambedkar clearly states that he despised the Hindu religion because of its belief in caste. Its existence lies in caste, a poison that it has spread amongst Sikhs, Muslims and Christians. His acceptance of Buddhism was not merely a negative gesture of leaving Hinduism but was a positive act of commitment to a superior religious way of life. That is the reason why he was called a Navabuddha. Class struggle. There are two aspects of conversion, social as well as religious, material as well as spiritual. The problem of untouchability is a matter of class struggle. It is the struggle between caste Hindus and untouchables. That is not a matter of doing injustice against one man. This is a matter of injustice being done by one class to another. The class struggle has a relation with the social status. This struggle indicates how one class should keep its relation with another class. Three types of strength to survive through this struggle. Manpower, finance and mental power. Buddhism Buddhism was a progressive religion. It was against the institution of private property. It advocated preservation, moral teaching and love. The fundamental principle of Buddhism is equality. Buddhism was called the religion of Sutras. There was only one man who raised his voice against separatism and untouchability and that was Lord Buddha. Ambedkar's Conversion to Buddhism Dr. B. R. Ambedkar studied Buddhism all his life and around 1950, he turned his attention fully to Buddhism and travelled to Sri Lanka to attend meeting of the World Fellowship of Buddhists. Ambedkar announced that he was writing a book on Buddhism and as soon as it was finished, he planned to make a formal conversion of Buddhism. In 1955, he founded the Buddhist Society of India. He completed his final work, The Buddha and His Dhamma, in 1956, it was published. After meeting with the Sri Lankan Buddhist, Ambedkar organized a formal public ceremony for himself and the supporters. Ambedkar completed his own conversion along with his wife. Death of Ambedkar Since 1948, Ambedkar had been suffering from diabetes. Three days after completing his final manuscript, The Buddha and His Dhamma, Ambedkar passed away in his sleep on 6th December 1956 at his home in Delhi. A Buddhist cremation was organized for him on 7th December, attended by half a million soaring people. Buddha and His Dhamma in the book The Buddha and Dhamma, published in 1957, Ambedkar gave some idea of new faith he wanted the Dalits to embrace. Principle of Dhamma Dhamma, Karuna and Samta Neo-Buddhist Movement The Neo-Buddhist Movement, also known as the Buddhist Movement for Dalits, Ambedkarite Buddhist Movement or Modern Buddhist Movement. It is a religious as well as a socio-political movement among Dalits in India which was started by B. R. Ambedkar, Navayana. It radically reinterpreted Buddhism and created a new school of Buddhism called Navayana. And the movement has sought to be a socially and a politically engaged form of Buddhism. Untouchables The movement was launched in 1956 by Ambedkar when nearly half a million Dalits, formerly untouchables, joined him and converted to Navayana Buddhism. It rejected Hinduism, challenged the caste system in India, and promoted the rights of the Dalit community. New form of engaged Buddhism. The movement also rejected the teachings of traditional Theravada, Mahayana and Vajrayana traditions of Buddhism and took an oath to pursue a new form of engaged Buddhism as thought by Ambedkar. 
conversion brings happiness at last ambedkar believes that the religion is for man and not man for religion